I'm Kenny from Pro Tool Reviews, and have you noticed that a lot of cordless saws are starting to come with these removable dust ports now? Well, we're going to test and see if it's actually worth putting on your saw. We're using Makita's XSH06 as our test model today. Let's see what happens. Alright, so most cordless circular saws, and even corded circular saws for that matter, they've got a dust ejection port on there somewhere. And Makita's is here on the back, and it ejects the chips down and out away from the rear of the saw. So it's great. It gets it out of the way of your cut line, but it makes kind of a mess. So we're going to make a couple of cuts here. And this is a blade right saw. I'm right handed, and I actually prefer to cut this way. But for the sake of being able to see what's going on, we're going to cut both directions and see what happens with the dust and chip ejection. And I'm going to get my nice clean self most likely a little bit dirty. So, line it up. Okay, and now we're just going to flip around and turn the other direction. Alright, so. <laughs> Alright, if we kind of take a look at the results of this in one direction where I was going with the most of the shoe on the material the, the non-waste side, it's throwing dust all over me and I'm wearing shorts and I've got these, uh, these great keen boots on that don't have any mesh in here so I've got dust, sawdust all up in my socks and stuff now. Going the other direction, it's throwing the dust all over the material itself. Now, this particular saw, in spite of all that, did a great job of keeping the actual cut line clear so that's not the issue that we're looking at. But can we actually do this in a cleaner way, especially if we're working inside? So let me take a blower here. Let's get rid of all this stuff that we've made and uh, try it again. Now, if your saw comes with a dust port, it really installs very easily right over the port that's already there. And it's typically one, sometimes two screws go in there to make it happen. Makita's is really easy. It's just one screw on the bottom and then connect your hose. So now let's see if I can keep myself and my work area a little bit cleaner. I'm going to kick on my vacuum here. Let's see what happens. All right, I got a little bit of dust on me, but not nearly as much as it was. Now let's flip it around and go the other direction. All right, let's kick that vacuum off. As we take a look, there's still some dust here, but man, it's a whole lot less than it was before. So if I'm working inside of a, an enclosed space where I've got to do a lot of cleanup, having this vac is going to reduce the amount of time I'm going to spend doing all of that. So that's actually really nice. Now, it's not necessarily as good as track saws collection would be or something like that. Uh, and this is not the most powerful of vacuum, 74 CFM on this model, but it did a great job of pulling a lot of that dust. I'd say probably better than 95% of that dust got collected. But then if you're a Makita user, there's actually one other benefit. So this is the 06 model. If you go with the 07 or something like this, which is the, uh, the 10, then Makita's got something called AWS. And I'll show you how that works real quick because it's, it's a nice added benefit. Now you notice, that I had to kick that vacuum on manually. The two times I used it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna violate some uh, photography issues here. I'm gonna step in front of the camera to turn around for you. But notice that with that AWS engaged, when I turn the saw on, the vacuum's gonna come on automatically. Don't have to do it at all. I can just go on with my cutting.
All right, so the bottom line here is that the dust collection actually does make a difference. It's going to reduce the overall amount of debris that's around when you're done. And if you've got an option like Makita's AWS to turn that on wirelessly, man, what a great innovation and what a great way to keep your job site cleaner. So anyway, you got any questions about dust ports? A lot of different companies are doing these now. We've got, we test a lot of saws with them. They all do a great job. Got any extra questions? Feel free to ask them in the comments below. I'm Kenny. As always, thanks for watching. Hey, help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.